Hi everyone in YouTube land. I wanted to do a part three to my birthday video and to um, Kit's new uh, collection that American Girl has brought back. So again, some of you guys might know this kit as my first edition kit. You guys know her as a white body Molly. And you guys know this kit to be a Be Forever kit. So uh, part of my birthday collection was obviously this box in the back, which was my birthday doll, uh, Truly Me 112. Then I ended up getting her twin brother in my collection. Uh, this boy doll is her twin, and he's got the snolly face mold with the closed mouth. And um, I bought him back in March. So he wasn't really my birthday doll um, at all. My birthday wasn't anywhere close. So um, this doll I had to open early, uh, the 112 doll, a little earlier than my birthday. And um, I wanted, obviously, her to have a twin. Or because I got Graham Harvey before I ended up getting Ginger Hensley. Um, so I wanted a twin possibly more so for Graham Harvey than uh, Ginger Hensley since I hadn't bought 112 yet. Uh, so she was an early birthday present. And then this doll, who's a Truly Me 121, I got her last year um, when they debuted the new Truly Me dolls. And so I just ended up changing her. And so now she is wearing the New York City uh, t-shirt because I am going to finally open, <laughs> if I don't drop it, um, the Jenny's ice cream set. And I ended up getting the Jenny's ice cream set around the same time that I ended up getting Graham Harvey, uh, the doll. But um, this ice cream set was supposed to be for my birthday gift. So I couldn't really open it or feel comfortable opening it and reviewing it until after um, I ended up getting more of my birthday gifts. So because I got the Jenny's ice cream um, tote and I thought that would really go well with my Samantha Sharon doll, who's my 121, because she is meant to be a doll of Jewish ancestry in honor of my childhood best friend, uh, Sharon. But um, I also wanted her to kind of have that New York theme. So I figure, I think Jenny's ice cream is in New York. So I got uh, my Samantha Sharon doll a happy birthday card that has like a little ice cream truck on it. So I thought that would be really nice to display her with. Um, but since it's a little chilly here, for uh, spring, I have her in this outfit um, with the store exclusive jeans and the New York City American Girl t-shirt So and her um, little Ugg-like boots that are cheetah print. So I figure, you know, she can look kind of stylish. But then uh, this review is also about my Be Forever kit because I wanted to get her accessories. So I finally bit the bullet and bought um, the Be Forever accessories because I did not want them to sell out now that they brought back Kit's original collection of um, her meat outfit and accessories. So even though I put this wonderful um, outfit on this Kit doll, and it's a school outfit with the Oxford shoes and all. I really wanted to complete my Be Forever kit um, with her accessories. So you can already see I have her bracelet on her as well as this beautiful uh, hand crocheted and embroidered coin bag or coin purse. I think they used to call it a coin purse back in the day. So I just think it's beautiful. Um, I really am a fan of her Be Forever dress. Of course, I feel like Kit uh, must have been one heck of a seamstress 
for her family to go through the Great Depression and she still have a, a dress like this. Maybe her mother bought it from a department store back in the 1930s. I have no idea uh, because Kit's mother, I think, did um, become her house became a boarding house. So I think her mother did have a few resources. And I think her mother even came from old money. Um, because her uncle, I believe is the one who has uh, a lot of the money in the family. So um, not only was Kit's mother resourceful, she was a part of a gardening club, or a garden club. Um, so you can tell that Kit obviously came from some money, um, even though her family was going through the Great Depression, uh, they had to learn how to be frugal. Um, along with my doll haul, you guys can see that my Ginger Hensley is looking very patriotic in her Memorial Day outfit, which is like a Janie and Jack outfit with a collab for American Girl. And um, I really do like this outfit. So um, I will show you guys a little bit more of it. But uh, first things first, I will do the Jenny's ice cream uh, review. And for those of you who were also interested in my home goods card that I ended up getting for Kit's display and Molly's display, it does say, um, it gives a nice uh, thing to say to a teacher. You're, um, let's see, what does it say right here? Okay, so if you guys were curious, it says you're, you've you taught a busload of kids and we're so thankful that you are our teacher. So that's what that card says. And if you look at the card, just in case you guys are curious, on the front and the back, it has the animals. So isn't that cute? best teacher ever and then on the envelope you can even um, do a little artwork of your own if you want you can draw a bus driver and a bus load of kids if you're creative like that and I like the fact that it has uh, this interior print on the inside which are just a bunch of yellow stars yellow orange stars so they go really well with not only kits uh, Truly Me sweater right here that has the Eiffel Tower on it and it says Perry and it goes well with her puppy barrette but I just think it really kind of goes with the whole theme and there's some yellow flowers on Kit's jumper as well her school jumper so uh, this is a great card overall I think all right so Let's get into the whole Jenny's ice cream. Okay, as soon as you open it, you get this waft of a waffle cone, a vanilla waffle cone smell or scent, which I really do like. You get the tissue paper and all the ice cream is already packed up inside. And you get a little pamphlet uh, for the ice cream truck, which I don't think I'll be getting. But the bag is really nice. It's like a faux soft leather with a working zipper. And it's plain on the back. But on the front, it has the Jenny's ice cream logo, logo and the American Girl. Wow, as soon as you open it, you can really smell that vanilla ice cream cone scent and I remember someone saying that you do get like a scent with um, the Jenny's ice cream oh look how realistic it even has like the nutrition facts on the back so it looks like real official ice cream in miniature form and all that fits in that one little bag can you believe it all right, anything else? Nope, and that's how the bottom of the bag is. It's like a metallic silver on the inside. 
So uh, let's go ahead and open up the ice creams. Okay, so I changed locations. I thought what better place to do this review than Samantha's Ice Cream Parlor. So I have my Truly Me 121 as Samantha Sharon, and she is going to be the model. So let's see, you get the three pints of ice cream along with a spoon. Okay, and so the pints are out. Let's so let's go ahead and unwrap them as well as the spoon. Okay, so I went ahead and brought up some guests. So we have the twins. We have um, Graham and Ginger, and then we have my favorite little birthday bag ever, <laughs> which says "Hooray, it's your birthday," and it's got tons of ice cream. Um, pictures all over it, which I thought was kind of, you know, thematic. Stays with the theme. So Jenny's Blackout Chocolate Cake is one ice cream flavor. Buttercream Birthday Cake and Gooey Butter Cake. So that's how they look on the outside. And I'm going to go ahead and just like take the chocolate. You can see all the writing. Sorry for my nails. <laughs> all right, so let's go ahead and look inside. And this is the spoon that you guys get as well. So that's how it looks overall if you were to use this with Samantha's Ice Cream Parlor. All right, this is how the ice cream looks with the top off. And so then if you, whoops, if you turn them over, so that's the chocolate. That is the buttercream birthday cake. And this is the gooey buttercream. I mean, this is the gooey butter cake. So it's, it looks delicious. All right, and you don't get any bowls uh, with this set because this is just the tote. But since I'm using Samantha's ice cream parlor, I do have some bowls. And uh, these are how the Jenny ice cream scoops look in comparison with the Samantha ice cream parlor scoops. And if you were to put um, one in the bowl, that's how that would look inside of an ice cream bowl from Samantha's ice cream parlor. And these are the spoons in compared to the spoon you get with Jenny's set. And so you can see the chocolate with chocolate. If you really wanted to uh, mix and match. So that's that. Okay, so here is Celia and her dog Confetti. And they have joined this review with the Our Generation ice cream cart or a little snack cart that I ended up getting um, a few I don't know I think it was a year ago maybe but um, this is how Jenny's ice cream looks with the display for the our generation ice cream cart or snack cart so you can see Jenny's spoon right here as well as the scoops of ice cream compared to um, the spoons that you get with our generation and these are the bowls that go with our generation and it barely fits so if you really wanted to put it in a our generation bowl it would actually fit the our generation bowl for the snack cart so if you feel like the American girl 
ice cream, Jenny's ice cream truck is too expensive. And if you don't have the whole Samantha Parkington American Girl Historical Dolls ice cream parlor that they came out with years ago, um, this would be a good substitute, I think. Um, if you just wanted to get the tote bag. And if you have a birthday coming up, you can hop on over to Home Goods and get the birthday bag that has all those yummy scoops of ice cream on it. <laughs> so um, that's the review for Jenny's ice cream. And uh, let me show you again how it's going to look on your doll if she wants to hold the tote. Okay, so here is... Samantha Sharon walking around New York City looking stylish in her Jenny's tote bag, <laughs> ice cream tote bag, while she's buying some Jenny's ice cream, either at the Tyson's Ice Cream Parlor uh, in New York for Samantha's time period, which she would have had to time travel into, or um, at one of the carts in the park. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that's my review. All right. I'll talk to you later.